Hi guys, welcome to another Reddit Cheating Stories podcast. Please subscribe, like and comment if you like the video. It really means a lot to me. And now, let's get started with today's cheating stories. Story 1 from Independent Bear 9342 Is my husband trying to have an affair? My husband and I have been together for 14 years. I happened upon his browser settings where it shows all of your saved passwords to websites you visit. But within that, it also shows websites without saved passwords that I'm assuming have been visited. And accounts have been set up without the passwords saved to them. I don't know what to think or how to feel. All of the sites were things such as Ashley Madison, Match.com, Victoria Hearts, etc. Basically all dating and hookup websites. I could use some insight. Marco Paloman commented. He already is cheating. Leave. Delta underscore Pirate 7 commented. Just come right out and confront him and see what he says. After 14 years of marriage, you will know if he is lying or not. I hope you liked the video so far. Make sure to check my number one secret for healthy weight loss by clicking the link in the description. Nor apply at all 817 commented. Why don't you use his saved passwords and log into those sites to see when he's been active? Independent Bear 9342 commented. I've tried. I know almost all of his passwords. So he wouldn't be stupid enough to use one I know. Which is probably why the passwords weren't saved to the websites. Because they are completely different from the ones he uses for most of the everything. Nikki's 1127 commented. If you have access to his email account, you can go to the suspected sites and put in his email. Then click, forgot my password, and have a code sent to his email to change it. Then log in. I do this while he is sleeping thought. So that he doesn't get an alert on his phone saying there's an email from Ashley Madison requesting a password change. Nor reply at all 817 commented. Thought it would work. My wife used my Google saved passwords to get into everything of mine. Sometimes the autosave feature works. It probably saved the username? But to reset a password, the verification would alert him. Anyway, he's most likely logged into or clicked on the site since you've been married. You might just have to ask him. JNH daughter commented. You know I get it, you're in shock maybe. But if you truly don't think that he's not cheating, you need to get help. What was he doing? Research. Stop playing blind because you technically wasted 14 years of your life on someone who was the wrong choice. See this relationship for what it was, a lesson one. There is no working this out. He wants other people, instead of you. He more than likely stays because he's too comfortable to do the right and kind thing and get a divorce and go be single. Gather your evidence, hire a lawyer and get a divorce. Stop wasting any more time or energy on this ah who couldn't even give you the respect and dignity of just having an amicable divorce. Take him for all you can. Independent Bear 9342 commented. Yeah, after 14 years, anyone would be in shock lol. But I'm also not fk stupid either. I'll compile what evidence I can. I don't plan to tip him off until I can get to his phone because I'm sure that's going to be where I really find things. I'm definitely not playing blind by any means. Things were great, so I thought. And I guess I thought wrong. And it is what it is. Once I have more proof, I'll quietly leave before he even knows I know about it. Having a dating profile in the law's eyes technically isn't adultery. So I need more proof if I want to pin that in court. Round underscore brush underscore 4828 commented. Look for burner apps and phones in the car. Check if any device is on your Wi-Fi. F Smurts commented. Sounds fishy to me. If you have a Mac, you may be able to grab his passwords from the Keychain Access Utility app. It lists those kept in iCloud, which may be more comprehensive than just the browser. You'll need to know his Mac credentials, though. Independent Bear 9342 commented. He doesn't have a Mac. The websites weren't in the browser history. I found them when I checked his saved passwords. In the browser settings, it says, websites without saved passwords. I plan on getting into his phone, which he uses far more. Gator Bro commented. At the minimal, he is trying. Since he keeps cleaning, he probably has. Get screenshots of everything for evidence since he cleans. Independent Bear 9342 commented. I saved screenshots of everything. I'm going to give it a couple of days to see what else I can find or catch before I tip him off to knowing something is up. Gator Bro commented. Good deal. Serious Employ 6334 commented. Curiosity is different than action, so you may want to check his actions. Independent Bear 9342 commented. You're right, but even attempting to seek validation from anyone else other than his wife is way out of line. 
even if he has not physically cheated yet because it will inevitably go in that direction. Shania Leslie commented. I was married for 10 years. Been divorced for 10 years and dating the same woman all that time. I probably still have dating site passwords in my history. Did he use them before he met you? Has he had any reason to wipe his password cache since that time? If you look at his browser history, has that been cleared? How far back does it go? Independent Bear 9342 commented. We've been together since I was 17, and he was 21. He's never used dating sites that I'm aware of. They weren't really a huge thing back then. His cache has been deleted, from what I can tell. He has never given me a reason to worry the last 14 years until now. Our relationship is actually better than it has ever been before, so that's also a reason why I'm confused. He does watch corn and every so often, his search history and cache gets deleted. And if you want to receive a free sketch of your soulmate, click the link in the description now. Story 2 from careless underscore education 97. I don't know what to do. Should I 18f break up with my BF 19m of a year? Here is some backstory. I 18f my BF 19m have been together for over a year now, and I love him with all my heart. But we constantly fight and argue. He is four hours away at college, and I'm still in high school. Every time we get into a fight, he says I cause it, and I'm the issue. I want him to take responsibility sometimes. I know I can be wrong, but I admit it, he can't for some reason. Back in August 2022 I had found out he had cheated on me. Here's what had happened. He went to a party and got really drunk, he blacked out and woke up to a girl on top of him. He cried and threw up etc. The worst part is he didn't tell me for two months until I found out myself. I feel like he would have never told me. I was broken. But for a few months we worked it out, and it got better. But then it went back to the same old thing. The fighting, arguing etc. And I don't know if I can continue to do it. He gave me a promise ring to trust him, and I do. But there's still things that scare me. I don't want to leave him, but I don't know if I should. He recently told me he stopped sharing locations with me. And is breaking up with me because he feels trapped and like a little kid. He says he doesn't want me to have his location, which is okay. But then he said he wants to party and drink again, but not get drunk. That made my heart hurt because I was so nervous. I gave him two rules that if he broke them, I wouldn't take him back. And now he wants to go do it again? I don't know if I'm wrong, or he is. Everyone tells me he's bad for me. But they don't know the good side of him. He was a great boyfriend in the beginning. But after he went to college, it all changed. He doesn't have time for me like he used to. His friends are jerks and don't respect me. But he still hangs out with them because it's his team for school. Which I don't understand. There's so much more, and I don't know what to do or feel. Someone can help me please? Sorry if this doesn't make any sense, my first post. JNH daughter commented. Please wake up. Do you want to waste your life and be on this subreddit 10 years later? Talking about how you wasted your life with someone who cheated in the beginning? And you knew you should have left back then? Now you are stuck with two kids, a mortgage and can't leave him because he pays all the bills? Firstly, why do you think you love him? He blames you for your issues. He takes no responsibility or accountability, even with this cheating. Please click the link in the description now to activate your internal wealth DNA. Sweetie, if you think he blacked out, and he woke up with her on top, and he cried and threw up, you are really naive. If that's what had happened, he would have come to you and told you. Not have you find out on your own. Break up, block him. He's not your forever person, you don't know what love is. You should be single for a very long time and learn what love actually is and also learn your worth. If you don't know to break up with someone who you have only been with for a year, and they cheated, then honey. You don't know your worth and have no self-esteem or self-respect. Do not ever stay with a cheater. Cheating shows they don't care about, love, or respect you. You staying with a cheater tells the cheater you don't know your worth. And you have no self-respect. You already showed him you have no self-respect when you stay with someone who you allow to blame you for the relationship's issues. Please go be single for a very long time and learn how to love you. Learn how to be alone and enjoy it. Why stay with someone who disrespects you and doesn't take accountability for his actions? Careless underscore education 97 commented. It's all so confusing, I don't know how to feel or what to do. JNH daughter commented. How is it confusing? He cheated it's only been a year together, you're not married or have kids or own property. What's confusing? You can't ever trust him, ever. Why do you feel you need to be in a relationship right now, anyway? This is a stupidy name zero commented. It's not confusing. He cheated on you. 
Don't let alcohol be a free pass to cheat. Whatever he told you about that is definitely not the whole truth. He's probably cheating on you consistently. Save yourself more heartbreak and leave him. MaggiePie184 commented. Long distance does not make the heart grow fonder, but it does make cheating easier. Time for you to move on. Grouchy Young commented. He literally cheated on you, and you don't even live in the same place. Do you think you're going to marry him? You aren't. Break up. Estonian soldier commented. All of the details are just white noise. It all boils down to, he cheated. Getting drunk? That is no excuse. You shouldn't even date someone who is going out and getting drunk. Fools get drunk. You should end it and get this guy out of your life. Careless underscore education 97 commented. He says he drank because he wanted to fit in with his friends, which is no excuse. And I don't know what to do. I love him so much and his family. I adore them so, so much. It's so hard. And now before going any further with the video, make sure to click the link in the description to discover the key to winning a man's love, attention, and total devotion for life. Story 3 from Big Underscore Relationship 7665. It's hard to move forward when you still love the person. Hi everyone. Well, this week I had to make a decision to end up a 15 years old relationship. 11 years old marriage. The thing is that 3 months ago, my husband discovered he was HIV positive. We are in a monogamous relationship. So that really shouldn't happen. He told me he probably got this in an accident while he helped someone at work that had cut his hand. And he ended up getting a little cut with the same knife. But the odds are really low to that. I asked a lot of people and doctors and the answer is always the same. It's not likely. He probably cheated on me and exposed my health to risk. Fortunately, I made a protocol of consecutive tests. And today I finally got the last one, and I'm definitely negative. Probably because I can't take pills, so we almost always used condoms. Almost. Sometimes not, and that just made me crazy until the negative came to me. He kept his story, but I reached a point where I couldn't believe anymore. Four years later he made a test, required to get a job. It's common in my country. And he was negative, so it's recent. He doesn't use any kind of drugs too. We always had our problems. I've bipolar disorder, so to keep a relationship for me is really difficult for both sides. I guess I came here because I just needed to talk how much difficult it is to let it go. We had a good relationship. He is a good husband, probably better than me as a wife. But I can't stop thinking of the risk I was exposed to. And this was killing me. So I broke up. But I feel so alone. And I miss him so much. This is my first broke up since he was my first boyfriend. I'm destroyed inside. If someone wants to talk about it, to share experience or just give me some support, I'm really needing it right now. Thank you to read until here. Sheedy Miss the alt commented. I know how it feels. But this is far from needing to be the end of relationships for you, as you are still young. So if you need someone to vent to or just talk, you can reach me in the DMS. Big underscore relationship 7665 commented. Thank you very much. Sheedy Miss the alt commented. This might be a bit cheesy, but as one of my fav singers ever sang about. Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. It is such a standard answer. But it is because it is the truth. It might seem like a really hard and steep uphill battle to come back from. But I promise you it is worth it once you are back to your loving and caring self. So please tell me you got friends or family that can and are willing to support you. Or else as I said just vent in my DMS. Big underscore relationship 7665 commented. I have a very close friend of mine that's helping a lot. And my brother too. I still come here because I don't want to overwhelm them too. I really appreciate your support. Be sure I'll reach you sometime if that really doesn't bother you. Sheedy Miss the alt commented. I would never give you the option to reach out to me two times if I did not allow you to talk to me. So if you need a random to vent to without any risks of backlash or judged, so do not worry about that. Just focus on your own recovery. And use my DMS to deal with stuff you do not want to bring up with your friends or family. That is just fine by me. I hope you enjoyed the video. It is always a pleasure to share with you what I found on internet. And if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing, like and comment. Also make sure to share it with your friends. It will be really appreciated. Be sure to get back soon for more Reddit cheating story every day on this channel. And if you want more, be sure to check one of these videos. Get paid to do simple jobs on social media. Click the link in the description now.